There's a competition, a national songwriting competition. It's called the ACMF, Australian Children's Music Foundation National Songwriting Competition. It's an annual free competition open to all primary and secondary school uh, children in Australia, reaching more than 11,000 schools. Student entries uh, comprise original compositions for a range of categories, including contemporary, classical, instrumental and lyrics only. And Year 10 student from All Saints Anglican School here in Queensland was awarded second place in Category B for a musical piece titled Stars That Shine. And her name is Jazz Darcy. Hello, Jazz. Hey, how you going? What are, you, you've got to be a musician with a name like that, Jazz. Yeah, well, I'm pretty lucky to have that name. Hey, good parents. It's fantastic. <laughs> Were your jazz. parents musical, Jazz? Sorry? Were your parents musically inclined? Um... Well, they have different hobbies. Like, my mum's an artist and my dad's a um, film director, but they're really musical anyway. So. Yeah, they must love jazz. It must be some sort of a dedication or in honour of jazz, perhaps. Yeah, well, my full name's Jasmine, but then it, everyone just calls me jazz anyway. So oh, okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> well, now, so we've got a bit of your song here. Let's have stars a listen. that shine like fireflies and dreams, dreams that are real. Stars that shine like fireflies and dreams, dreams that are real. And I know you, cause you let me see that I love you. My stomach when you call my name I'm in a dream with those stars in stars that shine like fireflies and dreams dreams that are real well that's pretty isn't it you're so you were about what 14 years of age um yeah when I wrote that um, oh. um I think, yeah, yeah. I wrote it, yeah, around that age. And, and Jazz, you play all the instruments that we just heard as well. Yeah, um, I play guitar. And I think because what I did was that was just a recording that I did quickly after I wrote it. And um, so I had just the guitar and, and then vocals on top of that. Oh, well, you're, is that the first time you've heard it on radio? Yeah, that was uh, yeah. really exciting. I was yeah. like, oh, it's on the radio. Yeah, well, the, if artists, no matter how big they get, will always remember the first time they heard their record on radio. Yeah. Record, it's CD or whatever you're recording. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Well, it sounded very pretty to me. It reminded me of a few artists too. Remind, oh, really? Yeah, I'm trying to think of the artists it reminded me of. A little bit Frente? Yes, it is. Frente, your Frente, whatever they're called. That's an Australian group, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do, who's yeah. your inspiration, Jazz? Who do you like listening to? Um. Well... The li- like people ask me, but the list actually goes on and on. Yeah. Um, but a few uh, standouts is like Alanis Morissette and Janis Joplin. Yes, I could hear Alanis Morissette there. Yes. Yeah, um, Joni Mitchell. And- yes, I could hear Joni Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All those influences come together. Yeah. Uh, well, it sounds like you, you're going to make a go of it at least. Oh, yeah, I hope so, yeah. It's pretty good. Second place in the National Songwriting Competition. Yeah, it's pretty special to be acknowledged, you know, for yeah. hard work because it's not easy, but... Good when you, know, you get acknowledged for it. So, oh well, our congratulations are with you, Jazz, and uh, good luck pursuing the career. Thank you very much. How how, how many songs have you written, by the way? Um, uh, forty five, fifty five. Have wow. you really? You can yeah. churn them out like a sausage machine. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> that's funny. No, um, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's just like I write them from my experiences. So, oh, okay. Um, you know, when when you live a little, it's easy to write. Yeah. <laughs> well, you keep it up, love. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye.